everybody, folks. We're doing a, a math problem here for Brooke. I think we're going to be... Hey, what's going on? We're live and we're videoed. Um, we're doing a math problem here for Brooke. Uh, it's really for Joe as well as Brooke. But uh, yeah, so what our job is, we've got this major project coming up. We're going to need to make somewhere around 10,000 pounds of concrete in three days. Now, what we... Excuse me. What we had a little too much chocolate this morning. That smells good. What we've figured out is that we've got a lot of materials, but we don't know how, ma how much materials we do have. So Brooke and Joe have to figure that out, relay that information back over to Mal. Mm -hmm. Mal's going to tell us how much data we need. Brooke is going to tell her how much data we have or material we have. And then we'll figure out how much material we have to get to meet that need or that demand. Cool? Yes. All right. So we know we have 30... So wait, what do we want to call this? Give me a good title. How to calculate material volumes. Okay, so we're going to call it Jerry. Or Bobby. how to calculate material volumes. Oh, these markers are strong. <laughs> Jerry! So we're going to make certain amount of assumptions we have. Do you have your phone to get the conversions? Yep. I don't remember all the conversions, I'm sorry. Okay. okay, here we start off. We know we have a 30 gallon pail. 7.48 cubic feet to one gallon. Gallons in a cubic foot. Okay, that works. 7.4, oops, excuse me. So we're gonna set it up like this. We're gonna say one cubic foot over 7.48 gallons, mm -hmm. right? So that's over one. So Brooke, can I get 30 divided by 7.48? 4.01. So in a 30 gallon pail, I have 4.01 cubic feet. My gallons cancel out. I do 30 divided by 7.48. Brooke, you are awesome. We're left with our cubic feet. That goes over. Now we know we're going to go for our sand here. For our weight of sand, we're going to take, I'm going to put sand. And this is, of course, the weight of sand that we have. We're going to take our cubic feet. So we know we have 4.01 cubic feet times our unit weight of water, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, right? Then we're going to multiply that by the specific gravity of our soil, which is, we're going to assume that's 2.62, that's unitless, and if we multiply all of those through, we should have da 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 Sorry folks. Wait, 62.4. Times 2.62 times 4.01. It should be... Somewhere around 160 times 4 is 400 to 500? 655. Totally off. 5, 9. 600 and what? 55. 660 pounds. Okay. So we need, or we have, for every one of those pails, those 30-gallon pails, we have around 660 pounds of sand. But we wanted to throw a correction factor on that, a holy shit factor. So the corrected weight of sand, so we're going to multiply that 660 pounds times 0 0.85 equals 561. 560 pounds. We have three of those. Yes. Right? Yes. So three, so total. 16 -80. Sand is equal to 560 pounds times 3 equals 1680. Now, we know that for every mix that we need to do, we need 2 or we need 153.6 pounds. Now, we need to do 9 mixes. So, 9, ah, so nine mixes. So, like, so nine mixes at 153 pounds per mix means we need 1377. 1377 
pounds. So what's the difference between those two? 1377, let's just call it 1380 minus 1680. 300. 300 pounds. So 300 pounds will give us enough material to do what? One more mix. Yeah. So if we screw up, we only have enough material. With the material we have on hand right now, we'll only have enough material to do one extra mix. And we want enough material to do at least three extra mixes. So we're going to need a little bit more sand. Okay. Right? And Almost that, two extra mixes. Almost, Almost two. two. Almost two. Yeah. Fair, fair session. Fair assessment. Okay, so, but that's basically how you figure out how much material you have from your volumes. Joe's going to do that right now, and then tomorrow they're going to go get more materials. Thanks for joining us! Have a great day! Go, go, go! The asphalt! That was really awesome. That was robust. Wow. Robust. Robust. Great word, Haley.